Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Red Dirt Rocks. Now today we're working on a really cool project. This is a 2015 L83 5.3 Gen 5 Chevrolet small block. We picked this up recently knowing that it needed to be rebuilt, but we didn't know what was going on inside of it. We got it broken down and what we discovered was one of the lifters, a non-DOD lifter by the way, one of the lifters got sideways, wiped out the cam, sent shrapnel through the motor, ended up uh, putting a little groove in the uh, second main bearing, or main journal I should say, and luckily we were able to save that. But we've got the main block here, it's, it's almost broken down. We're gonna break this down the rest of the way, remove the cam bearings, remove all of the plugs. We're gonna clean this really well and show you how to do it for your project. All right, so we've got the engine rolled over on the stand. This is a six millimeter uh, Allen wrench, and we're gonna remove all the oil squirters right there. So we've got eight oil squirters, one for each piston. So there's one right there, here, and here. And these just use this little Allen head. So that right there is what the oil squirters look like. We're gonna pull all of those. Now we need to remove this oil galley plug, which is an eight millimeter Allen. So now we need to remove this oil plug and this sensor. This we do not have to remove. This is a water port and we're not gonna be, we don't need to deal with that. So this is eight millimeter. There we go. Make sure you save these plugs. And this is 13 millimeter. All right, so now we need to knock out the plastic barbell plug that's on the back side of the oil galley. This is the driver side oil galley. And in order to do that, I'm going to use this piece of square rod. Anything that will fit inside the hole will work. And the hole is up at the front of the block right here. This is the lower galley on the driver's side. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this and then push this out. Real simple. Once you have it popped loose, it'll just slide right out. This is replaced as part of the kit. All right, so now what we're gonna do is use our powerhouse cam bearing installer tool to remove the cam bearings out of our LT. Now removing them doesn't really take much effort. Uh, you just gotta knock them out. You don't really have to be careful because the bearings are damaged already. We've already made a note of the orientation. We'll show you guys that here in a little bit. We've got our uh, collet set up. We're just gonna slip this onto our cam bearing tool. All right, so very important. The expansion marks here and here need to line up so that this expands like it's supposed to. So we just gonna push that on like that. We've got our expander bar and our draw bar and don't forget the support cone. We've got the cam bearing tool installed on the first cam bearing. We've got a 7 8 wrench backing up our collet and then we're just gonna tighten this up. So now we've got our collet tightened up. We're just using a rubber mallet and put my foot behind the engine stand so it doesn't move on me. All right. Loosen this up. Slide the whole thing out. There we go. Then we can pull out our bearing. You can see here, it's pretty well worn. Hasn't worn through, it's not showing copper like a lot of the LS bearings do, but there's definitely some issues here. So now we're just gotta do the rest of them. We're just gonna go straight down the line and knock them out. This is the bearing where the bad lifter was, where all that trash just went right through it. 
That was mark number three. This is your center bearing. That's got a number two. This is a two, this is a two. This is one, this is one, this is three. So on the lift, on the, on the cam bearings, you've got one, two, three, two, and four. So you have one, two, three, four different types of cam bearings. We'll show you all that here in a minute. So this is cam bearing number five. This is the rearmost bearing for right here. And you'll notice this giant notch, which doesn't leave a lot of bearing surface, but this is a really big piece. And in the block, we have a big hole that goes through to the valley. That is for the mechanical fuel pump, which is driven by the camshaft. So that's why this one has this big notch. All right, now we've got our block ready to go. The cam bearings are out, oil galley plugs are out. We're ready to clean this thing. But before we do that, we want to break the glaze. And I like to use the three stone hone as opposed to a bottle brush hone. The bottle brush hones are great. They do a good job at breaking glaze, but that's all they do. If we have any waviness into in our cylinder walls, it's not going to take care of that. It's not even going to show you if you have anything like that. That's why I like the solid stone for that. Now you have to lubricate these. I'm going to use a little bit of diesel. I like using diesel. It breaks down the glaze, breaks down any oil or carbon. So I'm going to use a little bit of diesel, dip this in it, and get going. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this rag that's been soaked in diesel, and I'm going to go ahead and hit all of the bores on this side. I'm also going to dip my stones in the diesel. I'm going to take it, stick it in, and we're going to do about uh, 15 to 20 seconds in each cylinder. Wipe it down again. I'm going to take this clean one, stick it in and see how that cylinder looks. Oh yeah, that's looking real nice. We don't have any issues. Everything's cleaning up really good and we got a nice cross hatch. You don't have to do very much. This motor has like maybe 50,000 miles, so these cylinder walls are barely broke in. So we're gonna keep on going and get it done. Got a couple of light scratches, but not enough to make a difference. Okay, now we've got to scrub all of this out. To do that, we're gonna use some bottle brushes. And I like to use diesel because it breaks all of the stuff down inside. I don't have hot water at my shop, so I don't use hot soapy water because I don't have it. So I like to use diesel and then we'll pressure wash this. So we gotta get all of these galleys. This is your main galley. Go all the way through, front to back. You want to make sure you get all the way through the block. I like to dip it in the diesel a few times, go back and forth. Really get in there and make sure it's clean. Okay, then we're going to do the lifter galleys. Same deal, all the way through. These do like to bend, so sometimes you gotta straighten them back out. Then we go to the smaller one, and I'm gonna get all the small passages. Like that right there, that goes into an oil passage, and then 
You gotta come inside here to the mains. And we gotta do all of the mains. We know this engine had shrapnel going through it. This one here, this main, had scarring on the journal on the cam. We were able to clean it up, but we know that we had trash in here. The rest of these were okay. We're just gonna make sure we get it all good. Now, once we have that done, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna clean this galley again. Just to be on the safe side, even though we are pressure washing this thing. Okay, so now I'll go back to this one. Now I'm gonna get all of those oil squirters. Now these are shallow and they're threaded. So I'm gonna stick it in, get a little diesel, twist it as I'm going in, and twist it as I'm coming out. A bit one more one. All right guys, now our engine block is nice and clean. All we have to do now is take it outside and we're gonna fog all of this down with the pressure washer. In the pressure washer, we're gonna put the wand inside each galley. We're gonna blow all of those holes out. We're gonna blow the water jackets out. We're gonna make sure this is nice and clean. Then we can move on to assembly. All right guys, now we're gonna use our handy dandy pressure washer. We're gonna wash all of this so we can start building. We got the block back in the shop. It's wet, we're gonna dry it off. If you have an air compressor, now would be the time to use it. Our compressor is down at the moment, so we're gonna dry it off by hand. I'm also gonna spray this whole thing down with some brake clean that'll help dry it off any water that we didn't get. And then we're gonna lube up the cylinders with a little WD-40, which is actually what it's intended for. WD stands for water dispersal. So we're gonna wipe this down with a little WD-40 to keep any flash rust from showing up. Last thing we're gonna do is spray some WD-40 in our cylinder bores. All right, and that's how you clean an engine in preparation for a rebuild. We're gonna let this finish drying up and we'll come back tomorrow and start putting it back together. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and tell all your friends about Red Dirt Rods. Let's make magic.